What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart and sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys like, uh, like myself. And uh, today what I want to talk about is a exercise called Jefferson Curls. Yep. Now, contrary to most of the videos you're going to find online, I'm actually against Jefferson Curls and let me explain why. So, th let me just start off by explaining what a Jefferson curl is for those of you who don't know. It's, um, it's, a, it's an exercise that was made famous by Chris Somers. He's a, a, a gymnastics coach and uh, now he has his own programs and, and he's doing his, his own thing since he retired from being a, a gymnastics coach. I think he coached at a very high level, if I'm not mistaken, uh, national and you know, to the Olympics and um, you know for for gymnasts so he started talking about this exercise that his gymnasts do right and um, basically what it is is that you're standing on a platform or on a bench and then you're you're straight and then you curl over but while you're holding a weight in your hand most of the time it, it could be a kettlebell but most of the time it's a barbell loaded with weights uh, he's saying that you, okay you start off light and what you do is that you you bend at the hips and you slowly like curve your 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 back while you're going down and then you bring yourself back up while you know uncurving. Uh, let me show you, it's easier this way. So I got here uh, a little platform. So basically you would be standing on something like this and watch this. So, you'd be here, you'd be holding your bar, you're standing up straight, and then what you have to do is that you have to start curving your back. Well, I'll show you here. You start curving your back, and then you go down. See what I mean? And then, the reason why you're standing on a platform is so that once you touch your toes, if you're able to, you can go past your toes because you have the weight that's that's pulling you down. Okay, so that being said, this exercise is supposed to uh, strengthen your your uh, your back, you know, your um, your spine, uh, make it more flexible, and you know, if you work on it, eventually you're able to load a lot of weights, and then. It makes your spine really strong and then you're, you're super resistant, you're super flexible. Okay, that sounds good and everything. And, and I think what people misunderstand here is that, oh, this guy's a gymnastic coach, you know, and if these gymnasts are doing it, then uh, I should be doing it too, you know, for sure. If, it's, uh, if, it, if, it, uh, if it increases their performance and they're at their top of the game, they're the best in the world, blah, 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 then I should do it. That's where you're wrong, I think. Okay, so hear me out. Um, here's the thing. Just because a gymnast is doing something for performance, he's going for peak, like super peak performance because you know he's going, he's competing at the international level, going to the Olympics and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that it's good for him. Okay, because it's a trade-off. If you go for performance and you're doing stuff because you need that extra flexibility, you need you need to be strong in this certain position, it, then yeah, then you'll perform better. But is it good for you long term? That's where the science doesn't, doesn't agree, okay? So I'll put a link down below, but uh, I fell on these videos um, from this doctor called uh, Dr. Stuart McGill. He's a back doctor. He specializes in anything that has to do with spinal health and you know how to fix the problems. And, and he deals with, with a lot of athletes who come see him because they basically fucked up their back. Okay, and here's the thing, your spine, yes, it, it can bend that way and you know, it could, it, could, um, it could flex and it could extend, but I mean, you're not supposed to load it while you're doing that, okay? And also, there's a, there's a limit to, 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 to how far it should bend and there's a limit to how far it should extend. Extending would mean when you're, when you're going backwards like this. This would be extension. Right, and this would be flexion like that. You see, you're 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 folding yourself in in half here practically, and this is extension. 
All right. Now, here's the thing. Your back is not, it has, it has that ability to, to go, you know, uh, to bend and to, 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 to bend forward, to bend backwards. Now, the problem is, okay, this is your disc, okay? And your disc has something in, in between here. I forgot what it's called, but a disc, you know? Let's call it a disc or maybe whatever. But basically, if you have something between your two, your two, uh, your two discs here, right? Then now, if you're bending forward, okay, let's say this is forward, so you're bending forward. So it, there's a little play here. But if you go to an extreme, I think what it does is it, it starts the the discs start touching each other, and then you're causing in, you know some sort of impingement. And it's the same thing if you go like the other side, right? So if you're going the other side, like it's good until a certain point, and then after that, bang, you're you're crushing your 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 your, your disc. So anyways, and that's why like I don't, uh, that's why like, like the spine supposedly according to, to Dr. Stuart McGill, it's not made to be, um, uh, to, to, to bend under load. You're not supposed to have your, your spine loaded up like that and have your, uh, your back bent uh, forward, your spine bent forward or backwards. It's really bad for you. It's really bad for you. And, Here's the mental framework that I have, okay? When you're in doubt, who are you gonna, like, when, when in doubt, I tend to go towards science. I'll, I'll listen to, 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 to the side that has more research, more data, okay? And I'm sure, like, um, Chris Somers, uh, his, his, his athletes perform well, but at what price? I mean, are these guys, maybe, maybe these guys are messed up after their careers are over, you know? Maybe they have all kinds of back issues, maybe they're in wheelchairs, we don't know. But one thing we do know for sure, right, is that your spine is not meant to be loaded with weights when it's bent that way, you know? When it's bent forward or backwards, you're not supposed to load it. If you load it, you're gonna have fucking problems. And, um, and it's, you know, like sometimes you, you'll look at things and it's trendy. Oh yeah. And even feels good. Like I actually tried it with a, with a 30 pound, uh, kettlebell and it feels really good. But just because it feels good doesn't mean it's good for you. You know, does that make sense? So I, I really suggest against it. I also saw my physio about, um, what are we? Uh, about uh, we're Thursday today, so about three days ago on, on Monday, and um, she told me. I asked her this question: Hey, you ever heard of Jefferson Jefferson curls? She said no. I explained, and she looked at me like if I was a fucking retard. She was like, No, I hope you're not doing that, and if you are. You, you, you got to be really careful. Like she's not a, a, a kines, kinesiologist or a back specialist, but she is a sports uh, sports uh, physiotherapist. And she told me, bad idea, very very bad idea. So, um, to all my to all you guys out there who who are thinking, oh yeah, this is good. I'm gonna listen to Chris Summers. Oh, blah 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 blah. I mean, you gotta. The way I see it, you gotta go, you gotta lean on the side of science with more data, and you have to use your own common sense, you know? And like, okay, forget what the gymnasts are doing, because you're, you're not a fucking gymnast, okay? Don't do it, you're not, you're not competing on an international level, you're not trying to go to the Olympics and win this one medal, and after that, you're pretty much done, and your back is fucked for the rest of your life. Like, if you're just like, uh, like me, you want to practice, you're into fitness, you want to practice martial arts, but you want to be doing it, you know, forever, right? Uh, because it brings so much uh, more to your life in return. It's such, a, it's such a beautiful investment that pays back right away. So don't fuck up your back by doing stupid, crazy stuff. Uh, even though, um, you know, like they, they tell you, uh, even if it's, if it's trendy, even if it's popular, don't fucking do it. I mean, just look at the science. It's, it's science, you know? So, hey, I hope this video helped, uh, and I hope it, um, uh, it helped you to make a, uh, a better decision. Uh, I really wouldn't recommend it, so stay safe, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press on that notification button there so that you can uh, get notified when I make another video. Peace.